My name is Bob, Bob Sansoli. Uh, I'm a legal practitioner here in Bulawayo, in Zimbabwe. Um, I am also the founder and the director of the ED project, ED as in I-E-D-D-I, standing for I didn't do it. Uh, it's a non-governmental organization, a not-for-profit organization that deals with uh, primarily exoneration of wrongfully convicted persons and uh, reduction of what we call unjustifiably excessive sentences. And then also, as part of our secondary objectives, we focus on uh, you know, improving the well-being of uh, prisoners all over Zimbabwe. That is our our aim. Okay. Um, first and foremost, we noticed uh, the uh, uh, there's a serious problem when it comes to access to justice in Zimbabwe. Right? Uh, for someone to get legal representation, they need to uh, uh, be financially capable to uh, look for private lawyer, that is lawyers in private practice. We do not have uh, public defenders, right? We only have public prosecutors. So you find out that when, when the law says you have a right to legal representation of your own, uh, at your own expense, uh, if you do not have the means, the state will provide a, 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 a counsel for you. We do not have those kinds of lawyers. So you find out that people then uh, are found wanting when it comes to legal representation for every other offense save for murder offenses, but only at trial stage. You see? Okay. So, yeah. so how in this situation? Um, as in anyone who is actually... Okay. Basically, what happens is this. The legal profession, we call it the noble profession, right? Uh, we... We, 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 we possess certain knowledge about the law, right? The, the means or in which one can uh, uh, maybe avert uh, situations whereby they end up being in prison, you know, uh, for an offense that they could have easily uh, uh, gotten away from, right? So you, you realize that you are accused of an offense like, for example, assault. You get to court and uh, you do have a, a defense, but then you don't know. Then you simply end up giving a plea. Then next thing you are convicted, right? And when you are convicted, you are convicted excessively. How then do you redress that? Which is where we then come in to say, uh, we want to assist only those, uh, primarily only those that have been.